ladies and gentlemen, this next spot, we've got the Masters Division here in the ring, and they weighed in at 189 pounds in the Madis Division. Tonight, boxing out of the red corner, representing the San Paolo Boxing Club. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Michael Kennedy. Who's in the blue corner? He's a, he's a master. John, so, uh, Stephen Linder in the blue, Michael Kennedy in the red. What, what division is this? This is here, uh, and there's a master's 189. So, uh, we have the first standing eight of the night here, it looks like. Michael Kennedy, the Knights right hand, followed it up with a hook in another right hand. And now that uh, causes referee Dave Smith to step in and give Stephen Linder a standing eight count. Now Kennedy has got to be trouble. I think I, I think if he can put a little more leather on him, he can get he gets to the top of his fight. So he, he's kind of letting him off the hook here. Go so right back to that right hand that scored through the first time. There's a nice right hand. Now, in the all right, since we're at the championships of the Golden Gloves, Rodney, um, huh? Does All right, since we're at the Golden Gloves championship now. Well, here. They're going to do a thing pro se. Like a tip count or something. How long did it take you to get here? Oh, the shoulder. Two hours. Yeah. 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 All right, we're looking at history here. This guy didn't fight tonight, but let me tell you, his fighting was historic. I'm looking at Rodney Wilson. A little bit of a strong fest I mean, here. Darnell Wilson. <laughs> Darnell Wilson. I have to, used to fight for me yeah. about 35 years ago. Yeah. So I'm he, I'm 82, so he's got a better memory than me. But he was from the family that made boxing history in Chicago. And now you live where? In Lafayette, Indiana. In Soros. And what brings you to the fight tonight? We're doing it like a service of our uh, coach, Tom O'Shea. I want to come by and check it out and see if all three. A service for Tom O'Shea. Tom O'Shea, his coach, Tom O'Shea, one of the original Chicago Golden Glove champions in the uh, maybe 30s or 40s. But now, um, when is this uh, dedication going to be? I guess sometimes during the fight, so I'm just, I'm just here. All uh, right, you're in Lafayette, Indiana. How many Golden Glove championships did you win, Rob? Well, uh, I won seven, uh, like, three tournaments, and then I won a national Golden Glove one time. And uh, you have boxing in Lafayette, don't you? Yeah, yeah. We do, uh, I do all the some uh, boxing for the kids, uh, laying hands at our church, do. And uh, are they going to the Golden Glove? The only one I got so far is my son, Jalen. And is he fighting where? He'll be fighting uh, Mayfield in Lafayette. Well, in Indianapolis. Well, okay, that's going to be history, and that's history in Chicago Golden Gloves, right here. A good friend who's a champion, 
champion inside and outside. Yeah, Bolito got a lot of fight for him. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Hold on. Step on out. Step on out. Okay, you got to do it. remember me. Do you remember me? Yeah. This is our son, Jalen. Hi, Jalen. You go to high school? I'm not. I'm not I was, Where are you going to college? Ivy Tech. Where's Ivy Tech? Uh, Lafayette. Oh, in Lafayette? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What are you majoring in? Yeah, I was going to I'm thinking about kinesiology. Oh, really? And how is your brother? He doing good. He doing good. He, he lives in Chicago. Yeah, he got to fight tonight. He has, he has, he has, I guess he has to put people fighting tonight. Oh, well, he does. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, we well, the when they do, good. we'll have to interview them. Or at least interview him. All right, well, let me tell you the yeah, four. Come on, Daddy, you get interviewed. We're family. Yeah. We're family. You got the mask on? You know who I am? You're, you're a disguise guy. Yeah. All right. Let me see. You Dick Tracy. What? You are Dick Tracy. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Got it. Oh, oh. I need that phone number. I need that phone number. Seven, seven, three. with another champion, Steven Linder, 189. Yes, sir. And uh, how many fights do you have? Uh, this is my fifth fifth fight, sir. What's your record? Uh, now four and one. And are you going to continue boxing or what? Depends on my wife. She wants me to quit. Said I'm too old for this, but we'll see. Well, how old are you? 47, sir. Well, let me tell you. I, I am 82 and I still do 160 push-ups a day and about two sets of nine, uh, 10 pull-ups. And the thing is this, you'll be able to do it too because I've been doing it all my life. So at 47, can accomplish something great. Can I, can I say something? Sure. I've been in federal law enforcement 23 and a half years. You know, salute to our first responders, our military, all the people that keep us safe in the community. Those are the real winners and the heroes. Thank you for your time, sir. God bless America. Well, uh, on this fight tonight, <clears throat> did you did you meet uh, did you meet all your expectations? I came away with the win. It was a tougher fight than I expected, but uh, he's a tough guy, great competitor, and uh, I'm very happy to bring this home for my family. So, what will be your future in boxing? Any, or just like this is an accomplishment? You go on to something else. I, I I've been coaching kids for about uh, nine years, so oh, I really oh, yeah. really appreciate doing that. I'm going to keep giving back to the community. There you go. Can there. I give my program a plug. Life Tough Kids, Northwest Side of Chicago, all volunteer, all cops and firemen, making kids stronger in our community. You Thank you. Number? You got a phone number? Uh, LifeToughKids.com. Okay. A champion in and out of the ring, right here. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.